You know, when I work with someone in a counseling session, one of the first things that we generally do together is we learn how to judge yourself, how to actually judge yourself. It sounds like a strange thing because, um, you know, we're trying to be, we're trying to increase self-compassion and get rid of really the inner critic that kind of ruins our day and brings up all sorts of horrible negative emotions and uh, maybe even poor decision making. So that's what we're trying to do. So why, why am I teaching people how to judge themselves? Well, what you want to do is you want to kind of bring that negativity to your therapy session or even if you're just doing inner work by yourself and you're curious about why you feel the way you feel and you want to you want to bring up these feelings and release them so that they don't drive you anymore. One of the things we tend to do is we're not even sure of sometimes the difference between a statement and a, a judgment. Because a judgment is, a statement is just a statement of fact. It could be a negative thing like, um, I might ask a person, for instance, what is it that's bothering you right now? What is it that's, ca what is it that's causing you a negative feeling? And they'll say something like, well, I work at the computer factory or I, I work at the computer factory. I work at the um, I work at the local fast food place. OK, now. In their mind, I, I'm asking them to tell me what it is that's causing you. Pain or emotional upset or um, these negative emotions, right? And that's not really a judgment. That's that's just a fact. OK. A judgment is more like um, my job is the worst job I've ever had. OK, that's a, a statement of uh, that's a perspective. OK, so that's what I mean with judgment. Right now, if you're talking about yourself, it could be well, what, what bothers you and the person would say something like, well, I work at the local food market or whatever it is. You know, that's the thing that's bothering me really a judgment about the self is I'm a worthless person. Okay, it's a statement of value that you're, you're, you're placing on yourself, another person or a situation. And it's always a perspective. That's what we're looking for. It's the perspectives that we have on things. It's not the statements of facts that are actually causing us emotional upset. I want you to start getting in touch with the perspectives because if there's an emotion there, I can guarantee you there's a judgment about something and it's not a fact, although it seems like it, it's a perspective, it's some kind of a judgment. One of the best ways to do it is, actually, one of the very best things you can do is when, when, you're, when you're searching for what these judgments might be, I always encourage people, amplify what you think it might be. Exaggerate what you, might, you think it might be. Don't minimize the judgment, okay? Make it really big and really awful and scary so we can get it up and take a look at it, right? Because we do tend to minimize them when we're, uh, we're bringing it up. Now what you're doing, uh, the best way to do it when you're starting off is add in anything like should. So I should do this or I should be like that or need to or have to or must or ought to. Okay, so just for simplicity, I would say start off with saying using should judgments about yourself. So where are your shoulds about yourself, other people and situations? That's the easiest way to do it. We're not talking about facts as, as, as you see the fact, okay? Facts are just facts. That's the way things, our situation currently actually is. Everyone would look at it and say the same thing. Yes, that's true. Perspectives are value judgments. Now, the whole point of doing this is we want to uncover those judgments so we, we can bring them up and we can together sit down and one at a time, by the way, just one judgment at a time, really spend a little time looking at it because it's the thing that's causing a lot of this emotional pain. You could, we could spend 15, 20 minutes, half an hour just looking at this one judgment, inquiring about it, seeing, okay, is it true? You know, we have to actually question it once we find it. So give yourself permission when you're doing this to be very judgmental, very negative, very dark, very pessimistic, all those negative words, and really exaggerate it to make it worse than it might seem because really it probably is that bad if it's causing you these emotions in your body. Okay, so 
practice judging yourself when you because finding the judgments is by far and away the hardest thing in any kind of inner work that you're going to do to bring it up so that it can be looked at uh, reinterpreted and released let go or drops right what is the belief what am i holding on to oftentimes people will tell me things like you know i, I often don't judge myself i judge or I, I i only judge myself i very rarely judge other people or situations well i would say you know okay well if that's fine you know just start off by looking at those beliefs about yourself but really after a while just start to get curious about are there any beliefs about other people just encourage yourself to do it as an exercise if the negative feeling is there, because the negative feeling is trying to tell you something and it's telling you there must be an underlying judgment here I have about something that's quite negative. Okay, so I hope that's helpful guys. Um, in my experience, it's very, very helpful to really exaggerate the judgment and bring it up and then you can look at it. So again, I hope it was helpful and uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time.